About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Because the only way to achieve a win is by agreeing to play the game in the first place. Worst case scenario, I don't make the fleet, but I end up a couple thousand credits richer. That's almost a, a win-win, don't you think? Oh, sure, sure. First a tour, followed by a formal dinner at the captain's table. Let's get one thing straight. You're here for business, not for a vacation. So let's start by talking about Delgado's sudden olive branch. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Don't play games with me. We both know pinging a message back and forth to the key is going to take longer than we have to do this job. We're supposed to be working together on every part of this. So... You're gonna tell me what else you're here for, or not? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. I spent months manipulating the Turan Preservation Society to hosting their Gata Affair aboard the Siren of the Stars. I had to arrange the event to make sure that the award was aboard the ship. Neva said she'd do the rest. When I got a message about Dubrovsky, I assumed she'd be tagging along to steal the award. But looks like, uh, she said you in her place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. It would seem we have little choice in the matter. We should hear him out. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. You'd better, or you're gonna have to find another Gal Bank executive. As long as Dombrowski's on the ship, he's all mine. Of course I do. But who wants to settle for a one-time payout? I prefer to play the long game. You see, getting my ass back into the fleet means I regain access to Shinya Vos. 
And that's as good as an endless stream of credits. Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, no. Is shooting everyone an option? Alternately shooting ourselves to avoid it? Someone with enough disposable income to afford a permanent six-figure cabin aboard one of Trident's uh, finest space liners. Consider it similar to owning a luxury mobile vacation home. Play a thing for the wealthy, you get the gist. The event's a complete sham. Bunch of rich snobs getting together and throwing a party for themselves. These people couldn't give a damn about Tehran Preservation or any other charity for that matter. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. He's a VIP executive, which means he either worked really, really hard using blood, sweat, and tears to make the arduous climb to the top, or he backstabbed, lied, cheated, and betrayed his way up the corporate ladder. From what I've heard, it's the second option. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship. Security will be alerted, and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. They claim their goal is to celebrate the soul of the Earth, the culture, the people, and the ideals of the past. In their minds, Earth is now dead, which is why they feel that preservation of its remaining aspects is so important. In reality, this is what happens when folks with far too much time and far too much money get together to make themselves feel like they're contributing to society. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. You seriously need to ask? Okay, I'll give you two reasons. First, Gold Bank protects their own. Kill Dombrowski, and they send Ecliptic after every Crimson Fleet ship they can find. Not something they'll gotta want, I suspect. And second, you offer Gal Bank employee in every single Gal Bank facility in the settled systems will triple their security. I'm gonna guess that won't help with whatever your plans are regarding Gal Bank, now will it? Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh.
Kozlov is one of the most easygoing CEOs I've ever worked under. In fact, he doesn't act much like a captain at all. There is nothing quite like the view from the Starview Ballroom. It's breathtaking. You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? Welcome aboard. Captain Rokoff said you're allowed in any of the crew specific areas. Just don't touch anything, please. Shh, listen. Tony, what's going This is one of Trident's top-of-the-line vessels. Head of a ship, isn't it? Lovely party, isn't it? Nothing but the finest at this gala. This is not the very definition of decadence. I do not know what is. A Starview Pass is required to enter the main ballroom.
succeed at that before we are discovered. A sharp contrast from the crew quarters, is it not?
get that done. Due to an unfortunate accident, we're halting our spacewalk experience for an un... determined amount of time.
requests, please speak to one of the cruise attendants. Hello, are you a member of the society? Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Not at all. I was assured that this particular ship was outfitted with the absolute latest and cutting-edge security. I am completely confident that Trident Luxury Lines will keep all of us safe. Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Well, the Earth Savior Award is one of a kind. The Blue Diamonds alone are irreplaceable. Since we can't produce a new award every year, it's instead passed from one recipient to the next. I supervise the transfer and make certain that there's ample security during transport and at the destination. In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. On behalf of myself and the entire team at Trident Luxury Lines, we wish to thank you for choosing to travel with us. That view is absolutely spectacular. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Don't forget to keep your Starview Pass handy at all times, or you won't have access to the ballroom. Here for business or pleasure? So, what brings you aboard? Pleased to make your acquaintance. For the safety of everyone aboard, please be certain you don't interfere with any of the crew or if security. If you have any needs, this. please enter a request into the computer located at the entryway to your cabin. Dig up any dirt on the Broski yet? As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Damn, that makes things more complicated. Mm. Okay, don't bother talking with the ship's purser. Without a claim ID, you'll never get to the award. There's no way around it. You're gonna have to get the ID off of Sheila. Here, give her this. I'm certain it will help. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. Don't you have somewhere to be?
must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? Maybe. Need to think about it. I don't have time for this. I'm still willing to talk. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. If the rest of this ship is any indication, I imagine there is an incredible amount of wealth stored in there right now. to dine at Captain Rokov's table during dinner service.
Cannot just break it open. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Siren of the Stars. 
these newer vessels more or less run autonomously, which doesn't leave much for the crew to Captain do. Captain Rokov is one of the most easygoing COs I've ever worked on. this for the effort You're a guest of Captain Rokoff, right? Between you and me, the best part of my job is getting a crack at all the leftovers from the dining area buffets.
trident must have spent a fortune equipping this ship with triple redundancy. Captain Rokoff said you're allowed in any of the crew-specific areas. Just stop it. This is one of Trident's top-of-the-line vessels. Hell of a ship, isn't it? These newer vessels more or less run autonomously, which doesn't leave much for the crew to do around them. Shh. Can't hear the engines, can you? You're not going to find better-tuned engines anywhere else in the central systems. There's nothing quite like the view from the Starview Ballroom. It's breathtaking. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Siren of the Stars. These newer vessels more or less run autonomously. Which doesn't leave much for the crew to do around here. Captain Rokoff said you're allowed in any of the crew-specific areas. Just don't touch anything, please. If you have any little ones aboard, story time with Sirena will be held in the ship's library this evening. I've done this particular cruise run several times, and I can assure you that the route is quite safe. If you wish to Present your cabin pass to have the cost deducted from your account. At the moment, Aurora isn't permitted on Trident Starliners, though we're working on having that change. In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Here for business or pleasure? Pleased to make your acquaintance. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe we'll talk another time. Yeah, uh, can we do this later? I'm busy. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? So, 
what brings you aboard? The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your own. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my duties. Have you tried the canopy? Horrid. Positively horrid. Hello. Are you a member of the society? An open bar would have been nice, but the trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Any complaints about your crews should be directed to one of the staff. Here for business or pleasure? So, what brings you aboard? That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. That's all, then? Okay. Hmm, an open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for the credit we've got. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Nice to have met you. Hello. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Yes, he's some kind of top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Enjoy the rest of the event. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Here for business or pleasure? His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Mind moving along? I'm trying to enjoy the celebration. The society chair and bar really would have been nice. outdone herself this time. Let's put it this way. He's screwed over so many people. If he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Huh. Well, that was boring. So, what brings you aboard? I certainly hope to make your to hold all future society of He's been support. spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Nice to have met you. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Sorry, do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. Who? <laughs> Look, can you just cut to the chase already? What's this about? Oh, 
my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you... <sighs> that idiot. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? And that money could get me pretty damn far from Galbank's reach. Hmm. That's true. You have come this far already. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. I do not understand. Your anger is focused on Mr. Dombrowski, but clearly the failure of this plan rests on you as well. If you had to work near him day in and day out, I think you'd understand. He's a disgusting pig, plain and simple. I didn't know who the hell you were. For all I knew, you were working for Dombrowski. It's called playing it cool. You should try it sometime. I'm not gonna tell you. Let's just say that I'd be sent to prison for a long time if Galbank figured it out. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. You won't do that. You're here because you've got some kind of side hustle in the works. If you wanted to blow the whistle, you would have boarded this ship with the authorities. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. What, are you writing a damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to wall. Any complaints about your crews should be directed to one of the staff. Hello. You here for the charity event? Oh, absolutely. I'm a firm believer that attending these types of events tends to absolve one of their sins and cleanse their soul. But something tells me you're not really here to discuss the event. 
What did you really want to talk about? Dombrowski. Uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. To be honest, I'm here to keep an eye on the charity event. It might not be as glamorous an assignment as a colony rescue or taking down some criminals, but anything that keeps the peace is important to me. What is this all about, anyway? You mean specifically? Oh, I work for the Corporate Fraud Division. We monitor all of the major megacorp financials and transactions to ensure that nothing improper occurs. You're asking a lot of strange questions. What exactly do you want? Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. We both know exactly who you are. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? up and I guarantee that imbecile's gonna demand that you be arrested. Oh, absolutely. He's up the ladder at UC Security. Lots of pull. We have to handle this very delicately. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. It's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. This is one of Trident's premier Starliners. That means it has the best of everything, including a triple redundancy life support system. They installed a backup for the backup. Luckily for us, it will still trip an emergency and everyone will have to return to their quarters until I sound the all clear, which I won't. Your lack of commitment does not exactly fill me with confidence. Are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here and... Won't be long before Trident figures out you had hell. On the surface, he's an upstanding citizen of the United Colonies, pretty high up in UC security. 
Lots of clout with Nas. Underneath is a greedy piece of garbage. Given the chance he'd backstab you for a cred stick and bid the murder on someone else. Come to think of it, if he wasn't such a petty tyrant, he'd probably thrive with the Crimson Fleet. All passengers are instructed to immediately report to their cabins. That way we keep the halls clear and avoid a panic. Fortunately for us, all of the passenger cabin doors will automatically unlock. This is normally to ensure the crew can check cabins quickly and without interference. But in our case, it's like having an all-access pass. Get back to it. So, what brings you aboard? Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Siren of the Stars. This is well maintained, to be sure, but obviously the credits have all been spent on the areas the guests actually see. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second, you're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner-class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong, the quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. I'm the Siren's chief engineer. Trident put me in charge of the entire deck team. We do our best to keep the ship running smoothly and efficiently. Of course, this beauty is a cutting-edge piece of spacecraft design. Almost everything has triple redundancy, like the life support system. Unfortunately, that means there's quite a bit of downtime. Could be worse, though, right? Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exception. No, sorry, I'm afraid it's impossible. Trident regulations strictly prohibit anyone from entering the life support area without a valid reason. 
Look, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, it's just that I could lose my job, you know? Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Honestly, he's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he was a long hauler for years, and the experience shows. Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for get-rich-quick schemes. If all the guy ever thinks about, why he decided to be a star liner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Tell you what, though, for someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind gambling them when we play cards. Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be out of a job. Much nicer in here now. Plenty of room. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you.
I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Doesn't take a genius to deduce you're the one that's responsible. I locked on to you from the moment you entered the ballroom, and I've watched you trying to clock Dombrowski. After we spoke, I had a feeling you'd pull a stunt like this. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Don't act so surprised. You didn't really think I'd make a deal with Claudio or Dombrowski without having a little insurance policy of my own, did you? Huh? If I've learned anything in my years at the Corporate Fraud Division, it's always have an exit strategy. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? I don't know where you got that information from, but it lines up with all the troubles I've been having getting my please cut from that asshole. That means my money's already gone. And the brusque is going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry, but if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. Oh, I've got everything you're gonna need. This is a one-stop shop for you. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. <laughs> it was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. Dombrowski had the authorization to wipe out records on Galbank's system without raising any red flags. I let Claudia talk me into that. She said she had him wrapped around her finger. Apparently, she was wrong. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't know anything about your undercover work, if that's what you're trying to imply. All I can tell you is that there's more than a few people at Mast who find Commander Akande to be a huge pain in the ass. I mean, the UC is aware that the Crimson Fleet is a problem, but it pales in comparison to the issues with the Freestar Collective. Akande's loaded with big picture ideas, but not a ton of evidence to put them into action. And frankly, it's driving my superiors crazy. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. <laughs> <laughs>